And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Copy the weather bulletin for August 16th. In terms of active cyclones, it's not really much of a change from yesterday. Tropical Storm Kyle and Josephine still active in the North Atlantic, and Tropical Depression 10E exists in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, not much of an existence, it has to be said. The system not moving very much at all. Uh, but looking at the Atlantic, two other areas of interest, an area behind Kyle which could do exactly what it did. Uh, low chance of that though, chance is slipping on that. A uh, 10% chance uh, for an area of interest that's going to probably move into the uh, Caribbean National Hurricane Center incidentally have just marked that uh, just before our bulletin. On day 94 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, Obviously depression 10E and we're still looking at that 90% chance on the eastern disturbance uh, could become a significant hurricane and still a 60% for a possible tropical storm to its west. And in the western pacific we've got a 10% chance uh, which is now fully in the uh, basin um, and expected to move towards the northwest probably won't amount to much. Uh, also missed off before the Central Pacific, two areas of interest there, one of them 30% well to the south of the Hawaiian Islands. The uh, North Indian Ocean, very quiet here as you would expect at this time of year. So let's take a look at our scenario right now. The North Atlantic looks like this, it feels like Josephine's going so slowly, it's still there, it's just off the, uh, off the Lesser Antilles, shouldn't really be affecting the islands. And down towards the uh, right uh, bottom right of that storm you can see the uh, area of interest there which doesn't have much to its name at the moment uh, which will eventually move into the eastern Caribbean. The Gulf of Mexico looking rather quiet, thunderstorms blowing up across the Yucatan and parts of the uh, Gulf Coast. The eastern Pacific then you're looking at uh, an amalgamation of two systems that have now sort of merged into one there on the left hand side of your image. Tropical Depression 10 is half cut off now on the left hand side of the image there. Um, and that look at that potent tropical disturbance there in the far east of the basin now as emerged off Central America could become a significant hurricane. The Western Pacific then looking fairly quiet. The disturbance that we've marked is just about to appear on the screen on the right hand side. You'll probably see it a lot more tomorrow. Um, a few thunderstorms blowing up around Luzon in the Philippines but apart from that not too much going on in the Western Pacific which is having a very drab year so far. In the South Pacific, things looking equally quiet as well, although you expect it at this time of year here, although it does look like uh, a system's moving through Vanuatu, delivering some heavy weather. And in the Indian Ocean, um, general monsoonal pattern continues, uh, though it's looking a little bit tepid today. A few thunderstorms blowing up probably over central and southern India. Sea surface temperatures then in the eastern Pacific, 30 degrees plus off the coast of Mexico, prime real estate for that potential tropical cyclone. Um, out to sea though is where the conditions are the least favourable. Over in the Atlantic then, the uh, Gulf of Mexico heating up even further, 31, maybe even touching 32 degrees in one or two spots off Louisiana. Um, same too off the uh, western tip of Cuba, the, the uh, Caribbean Sea very warm, the western Atlantic even warmer, 30 degrees plus almost extending to Bermuda. In the uh, Indian Ocean you can see fairly warm waters here as well, typical pattern here for this basin in August. And over to the western Pacific. Still warm waters, look at that, 30 degrees almost all over the western Pacific from 160 degrees or 150 degrees west, uh, east, sorry, westwards towards the Philippines there, 30 degrees plus, and the South China Sea very warm as well, 30 degrees plus. So the western Pacific is ready for activity, but it's not forthcoming so far. Sea surface temperature anomalies above average quite clearly in the western Pacific, the Atlantic mostly above average as well, particularly in the Caribbean and definitely off the northeast coast of the United States, areas to watch out for, Bermuda as well, and the subtropical zones of the Atlantic might do better than usual. Well, I don't want to remind you of this one, but August the 16th, 2017, uh, first of all had Hurricane Gert, which we have down as a Category 3 peak. Uh, Typhoon Banyan was a Category 1 weakening. The remnants of Jova, well, very weak Jova by now. But Tropical Depression 9L had just formed in a very similar place to that disturbance that we've just marked in the Atlantic. 
Of course, 9L would then go on to become Harvey. No, I'm not drawing comparisons, but that Atlantic system that we are looking out there in the uh, main development region, you know, something that bears watching. So in the Atlantic then, the next name on our list is Laura. Yes, already, believe it or not, we've had more storms in the Atlantic than the Western Pacific normally gets by now. How remarkable is that for a statistic? Uh, Fausto's next up in the Eastern Pacific, Hone in the Central Pacific if it forms. Western Pacific's next name is Higos, followed by Bavi. The North Indian Ocean, the next name on this one is Gatti. In the Southern Hemisphere in the Australian region, uh, it will pipe up again pretty soon towards the end of the year. Imogen is next up, followed by Joshua. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, the year the season will start with Alicia, followed by Bongoyo. And in the Southern Pacific, the next name Jolanda. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash Force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.